What's going on guys? Welcome back to another week of the top step trading challenge I'm doing here in the Forex, I mean in the futures markets with oil. Corey Smith here. Um, another week in the books guys. We have a profitable week here. We started the week at 49,949, ended up at 50,667, so about a $700 profit on the week. Just a little quick recap in case you haven't seen these videos before. Basically I'm a Forex trader taking my um, risk management trading discipline uh, and structured approach to the markets, taking it into a new market, going into futures. I've never traded futures before. Um, trading crude oil specifically, never traded oil before outside of you know tracking it for the correlation with Canadian dollar. Um, and what I'm doing is videotaping every single trade I take live with you guys. Every single morning when I'm behind the computer, I show you the exact setup I'm taking, I show you the exact results, and I show you where I took profits, where I hit my stop loss, um, where I managed the trade, what I was looking for in the setup, things of that nature. So it's a full on live update through the process as I'm doing this journey. Um, I've got nothing to hide. I'm showing you guys everything. This is a, a simulated challenge, so it's not like it's you know anything big. However, um, we are in the positive right now. I'll show you guys some of the stats here for the trading so far through this last next week. Uh, we're a month in now. And uh, we've traded 15 days. That means actual days a trade has been placed have been 15 days. But it's been over four weeks. So it's been over a month now. So we have a decent amount of size data to work with. Probably we've taken 30 trades, um, give or take a few. But uh, this is what it's all about, guys, right? So one thing I want to make very clear to you guys here, this is the reason I'm doing this, to show you guys how important discipline risk management and having a plan is right here. This is the major lesson, the major reason for taking this. So far, with the month down of trading an asset I've never traded before, with an instrument of futures I've never traded before. Totally new to me, right? But I took my discipline, my risk management and having a plan. I put together a plan that I have no idea how it works. I didn't back test it. I picked a plan for oil and I put it into place and I'm following it. And look at this. I've lost 60% of my trades, right? So the winning percentage is 40%. I've won four out of 10 trades. Okay, that's normal. For a new strategy that's never been tested before, has no idea how it works, just taking a strategy and running with it, four out of 10 trades, it's okay. Every trade that I've lost has averaged $137. Trades that I've won, it's averaged $273. Just about a two to one risk to reward. What is the result? The account's in the positive. The current status of the account right now is 50,667. We are in the positive with a losing winning percentage, less than half, right? And we're in the positive. That tells us with proper risk management, with a plan that we follow disciplined and with um, good risk to reward ratios, we are able to consistently stay up in profit with losing trading percentage. These aren't home runs. I'm not getting three, four, five to one risk to reward ratios. I'm not winning 70, 80% of the trades. I'm winning less than half. I'm getting two to one risk to rewards and the account's growing, right? Now we've been bouncing around up and down with the account a little bit, but now is when we start forward testing. Now is when we start going back into my journal and figuring out how we can tweak it to make this higher, this lower, this higher, right? So we wanna be able to now tweak the strategy, go back into our results, go back into our journal, figure out what's working, what's not working, what little tweaks we can make to improvise the plan, to make it perform better. And then we're going to put that into action and see if we can get these results to grow even more. One of the big things I've told you guys about that's limiting me right now, unfortunately with this challenge I'm doing, is only being able to take one position size. Anybody that knows me from Forex trading, I like to leg in positions, I like multiple positions, I like multiple take profits. Um, that is the way you get big home run wins, right? You can hit base hits all day if you have a two to one risk to reward, set it, forget it, let it play. But there's gonna be times like today's trade where you take your profits and the trade just continues running in your direction. You could have made two, three, four, five, six, seven times the amount of money in one trade. That can make your month, right? So as this develops and as I start trading multiple contracts and I'm able to take profits on one, let another one ride, I'll be able to grow these into more home runs and not just base hits, but I'm showing you guys simply what base hits can do, 
right? So we're going to continue going with the challenge. I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to go ahead and switch into the charts. I'm going to show you guys live breakdowns of every single trade I took every single day of the week, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, traded every day of the week. And I show you every single trade that I took, win, lose, break even, whatever it is, I show you the exact trade setup, the reasoning, the stop loss placement, the target, how I managed the trade, when I got out of the trade and what the results were. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the charts here, into Monday's trading. Break down every single trade for the week for you guys, and uh, hope that you guys enjoy this. I'm having a blast trading this oil futures. I'm waking up every day at 4 a.m., getting behind the charts, trading the breakouts, and, and totally enjoying it. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying watching this journey. Hopefully, you guys are getting something out of it. Hopefully, it's helping you be a little bit more disciplined, maybe get a plan on paper, start journaling, and seeing how powerful this stuff is. All right, guys. So um, no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the trades. All righty, guys. Here we are, uh, Monday morning, March 18th. Another week here of the futures challenge. I just triggered a short trade here on crude oil at around 58.50 a barrel. We got a nice break and close below the range here this morning. Um, taking it up a little bit here on the daily chart. Show you guys a little bit of a big picture of what I'm seeing. Uh, we have been moving upwards, right? We have been following this upward trajectory. Price been moving higher, higher highs, higher lows. We did break out here last week, broke and closed above it. We based up above it now, and I am seeing um, spinning top candles in here. One here, two here. I think we're going to get a little bit of a correction in oil this week. I think we're going to see a little bit of a pullback. As you can see here, we're getting a little bit of rounding top. Could say somewhat of a head and shoulders pattern here. Prices now look like it's rolling over on the right side here. So we are in shorts right now. Got in around here. With this break and close below, pulled back a little bit and got in short. Um, at 58.50 a barrel. Got my stop up here at 58.70, our 50, 15 tick risk. Looking to ride it down here to around 58.10 a barrel. Giving us about 40 ticks. So looking for a 40 tick move to the downside. Risking 15 ticks. Risk to reward is here. Um, maybe we'll get another setup throughout the day. If this fails and comes back below, I'll be looking for longs above 58.80 or so. Um, if it pulls back, it comes back up to retest. I might throw a little bit more onto the position to try to ride that lower. But all in all, this is the short we're in right here, guys. Um, here's where we're at right now. We're up 40 bucks, four ticks. And this is from last week where our account sits. 50,225. I entered the wrong contract earlier, lost 10 bucks, <clears throat> lost the tick by accident. I entered April's contract instead of May's, but we're up to May's now. Um, so this is where we're at. All right, guys, I'll update you throughout the day with these trades. Hopefully we get a nice ride down to this blue zone here. We can take a nice cash out, take 40 ticks on the day, move on and uh, live to fight another day. All right, thanks, guys. I'll keep you posted on these trades. We'll see how the setup works out, and I'll uh, update you with anything else I do. All right, guys, so here we are again. Um, we got stopped out of this short trade. Unfortunately, price started to move lower and then ended up ultimately reversing back. Very strong bullish reversal. Pushed us back up into value here. Stopped us out. Um, we now had a break and close up above resistance. This was our second shot we could take for the day. So I've got two shots today. Uh, took it short. Stopped me out, came back up, now triggered our long. So we are now long. We're up about <clears throat> five ticks or so, trying to ride it up here to 59.17, right below this prior high resistance, 59.20. Nice risk to reward. That's about 40 ticks. So we're going to try to catch this, ride it up this morning. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted as the trade goes. Looks like we're starting to break out initially. So I'm going to tighten this stop loss up here. I just have a default set to 15, but I risked 20 on the first one, so I am going to pull this guy up. Um, expecting this trade to move nicely, so I'll keep you guys posted as it goes. Um, put this a little too high. But uh, yeah, here's our breakout above range, above value. We are hitting settlement. We are hitting resistance here at 58.95, $59 a barrel will probably be a little tough to break, but um, I'll trail this stop up to break even as we start flirting with $59 a barrel so that I can get out if it doesn't break it through. But if it does break through, I think we'll have no problem hitting another 20 ticks higher. So this is where we're at, guys. This is what we're watching for. Um, again, first trade stopped this out. Second trade, we are now long. 
some ugly price action again. Haven't been seeing the best price action, but as you guys can see, you know, we got some uh, lines being broken around here. So we'll see if price is able to continue to the upside, uh, move this you know, momentum higher and move up. I, I did like this pair short. I thought this was a nice risk to reward short. This was the move we were trying to catch down to here, but we got to follow price. We got to do what price is showing us. The markets are always right. And right now the markets are telling us you don't want to be short. You want to be long. So that's why we're in here after this break and close above the range. Might get some retesting choppiness, but all in all, this is our target for the day. This is what we're looking for. This is our last trade of the day. So we'll see how it plays out and I'll keep you guys posted. Alrighty guys, so it is now Monday afternoon. Um, another trading day down here with oil. And unfortunately today we had the uh, last thing a trader ever wants to happen happen to us, the ultimate. Um, as you guys can see, our P&L for the day is minus 230. Unfortunately, not a good day. Um, back to back losing days, but it's all right, we'll recover. As you can see, we're now down below the $50,000 starting level, which stinks, but Again, we're learning a new market here, learning a new instrument. Unfortunately, lesson learned today um, with this trade. Uh, so as you guys can see with the setup here, we took this short earlier this morning, started to go faked out, broke up higher. Then our long triggered here. We have two shots. That was our second shot right there. Went up in our favor, moved the stop loss up to just about under break even. What did it do? Pulled back, retested this broken resistance, now support, nice hammer candle, shot all the way up through our target, right? This was our target up here at 59.20. What did price do? Pulled right back to stop us out here and then shot all the way up through our target up there. So it would have been a beautiful trade had I left my stop loss where it was when I entered. I tightened it back up in hopes that it wouldn't turn against us and then go our direction and that's exactly what it did. So, unfortunately today, guys, lesson learned um, with this move. Unfortunately, that's our strategy. And, um, you know, I'm still working on whether I want to adjust these positions to break even or not in oil. I'm getting a feel for how the market moves. I'm getting a feel for, you know, how many ticks in one direction I can expect before there's a correction, before there's another move, how deep the corrections are. Um, and I'm taking notes and I'm journaling and I'm seeing, you know, what's, working what's not working things of that nature and this shows me here to add to my journal that if i would have kept my stop loss where it was initially and not moved it up closer to break even it would have been a big winning trade so that's in the notes that goes in the books now i can look back at multiple other trades that i've taken and see if this is a reoccurring instance this is our journaling right this is what we talk about when we talk about how we want to journal all of our trades and our strategy to see how we're doing and that's our journaling right there so if I notice this is a reoccurring factor, which I think it is, um, I will realize, okay, I don't want to adjust my stop loss. I just want to let the trade play out, right? Once I have more room to play with in terms of position sizing, and once I'm putting two, two standard uh, contracts on or two regular contracts on instead of just one right now, I'll have a little more flexibility with position management. Right now, unfortunately, with one contract, I can only have one stop and one target. If I had multiple contracts, I could have one stop and multiple targets. And when a target's hit, I can adjust the other stop to get my risk off the table and get that to break even. But playing with just one position as we are right now in this challenge is a little limiting. It is a little difficult. It makes it a little bit harder for us to really perform these types of strategies, but it's still all right. This would have been a big winner, would have been a great trade, but it happens. Um, kick this out for a loss. That's why we have our limits. We only lost 230 on the day. Not bad. We'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully we can get a nice trade tomorrow. Looks like we're going to be looking for longs again tomorrow. Uh, right now, you know, we got a little bit of a pennant. We'll see how long this pattern holds and what price is doing going into tomorrow's trading session. But all in all, bullish day for oil. Did exactly what we wanted it to. We just unfortunately got into the wrong time. And not only that, if we would have gotten in here, that would have been a nice trade, but... Um, the stop loss was just adjusted. That's you know part of the strategy, so we're gonna to continue to do that. And if I notice that it is something that happens often, we'll tweak the strategy. That's why we journal and that's why we back test. So um, just wanted to share this with you guys though. This, this is what happened today. 
We got faked out for a short. That got stopped out. Our long trade triggered. Unfortunately, tighten the stop up too close. Um, but the good thing is if this did go against us, we wouldn't have lost, you know, too much money. We would have had a limited loss, which is what is, this is here. All right, guys. So, again, it's Monday afternoon, first day of the week. These are our trades. This is where the account balance stands. I told you guys I had nothing to hide or 50 bucks in the negative. That's totally fine. I know it sucks going from being up 800 bucks to being down 50, but that's what happens when you enter a new world and a new market. Luckily, our risk management has allowed us to not break this challenge. We're a month in almost, and we're still rolling with a market that's never been traded by myself before, futures nor oil itself to this extent. So um, we're doing pretty good. We'll see how it goes. We're just about to break even, but uh, I think I think this week's going to be pretty good. So we'll see what we get to. All right, guys. Um, stay tuned for Tuesday. All righty, guys. Welcome back here. Um, today is Tuesday, March 19th. As you guys know, yesterday we had a losing day and I closed out my trades. Today's a new day. As you guys can see, we had a nice range bound pattern here overnight. Leading to this morning, we got a nice breakout candle here at uh, 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time candle close. I got in on a little bit of a pullback, and we are now in long. Again, we have a break and pullback to this range. I'm looking to ride this up to $60 a barrel. So um, looking for about a 45 tick move. Got my stop down here at 59.40 about a 15 tick move against me so I'm risking 15 to make about 45 pretty good risk to reward this morning we'll see what's going on we've got a lot of um, fundamentals right now driving a potential strong oil so we'll see if this trade is able to move up you can see we're just about at our entry right now maybe price will pull back retest this level and then go up long again maybe we'll get another opportunity to add to the position um, otherwise I'll be looking to ride this long Again, up to just under $60 a barrel, as I think there is some more bullishness in this oil chart. Uh, continues to set higher highs, higher lows. This is, once again, another higher high set. So I'll update you guys as this trade develops. Either way it goes, and we'll see how this plays out. All right, you guys. So here we are with um, the close of this trade. We got in here at the break above this range. Told you guys I was shooting for $60 a barrel. However, we did start seeing price getting overextended up here. As you guys can see, I sold it and got out of my position up here just under a um, 30 tick gain. So 28 ticks we got here, $280. Um, as you can see, price is now starting to reverse. It's starting to come back against us. I got out here. You know, I got an indecision candle here after a wide range bar. Uh, looked like we were losing momentum. As you can see, that seems to have been right. Um, price is now falling back. I will later on look for a potential buy opportunity again down here if it presents itself, but most likely we are done for the day. Um, again, guys, 28 tick day back into the positives, 50,226. Nice day. Um, nothing crazy, but got a nice win. We'll see if oil is able to continue this rally. Um, might see a buy the dip opportunity in here. If not, we're done for the day. Moving on, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Either way, I'll keep you guys updated on the next trade that gets put out. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, real quick breakdown. Um, it's a little late breaking this down, but Tuesday's trades, I got the long trade that we took profits on. Told you guys I might re-enter if an opportunity presents itself. And I did get another entry when price pulled back to retest this um, 59.60 level. We got this pattern here, this long dragonfly doji tail rejection candle there in that X, right? This black candle in between these two red ones, this black candle right in there. Um, I did see that rejection of the zone. I got long after its close, hoping to catch another um, 30 ticks back up to the top here. I was doing a 10 tick risk for a 30 tick gain. But it did go against us, stopped us out down here. Um, so if I got in here, no, it was about a 15 tick loss, sorry guys. Around 47, I think, or 48, it got us out. Um, and I took a loss there on Tuesday's trade. So I had a winner and a loser, ended up um, up about 10 ticks on the day. 
Not as good as I wanted it to, but still a positive day. So I just wanted to recap that setup for you guys there. I didn't have a chance to break it down live, so that was the trade. We continued higher, price double topped, pulled back, found support once, found support again with a long rejection wick, right? Sellers pushed market all the way down to the 50 SMA, all the way down to prior resistance at 59.50, and then rejected and ended up closing up here. Got in long, price started to go in my favor about halfway towards my target and then ended up turning around against us and stopped us out here in the afternoon. All right, guys, so I just wanted to give you that quick breakdown on that trade result as I want to cover every single trade I take with you guys and be as transparent as possible. All righty, guys, uh, Wednesday here, March 20th. It is 6.24 a.m. Eastern time. Um, another trading day here. We got our trigger short this morning. We were in this trading range here, um, 5.15 a.m. candle broken closed below our 59.10 support. Price has since pulled back. Luckily our 15 tick stop was the perfect placement. Didn't hit our stop and is now selling off. We're breaking through this $59 a barrel support. I'm looking for 58.80 down here as my target. Price is starting to move pretty well right now, so I'm gonna let this ride. I'm gonna let it go down here, down to our target. Take profits down here at around 58.80 if price is able to make it there. And we will be done for the day. It is Wednesday. Big major news today. Not only is it the weekly oil inventories report out of the U.S., but the U.S. Federal Reserve, the FOMC, Jerome Powell, and the Fed meet today to go over monetary policy and such. So this is a major market mover across the board, and we want to stay out of events like this. So um, this will be my trade for the day. Hopefully comes down, we hit profit, we cash out, we move on, and uh, we'll be back here tomorrow trading. But I'll keep you guys posted on how this trade develops, how this trade goes. So far, it's looking pretty good. We spiked through $59 a barrel. So far, it is moving pretty nicely in our direction. So again, when we tap this 58.80 down here, another 10 ticks or so, um, I will be cashing out. All right, guys. So that does it. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll keep you guys updated. And... Um, yeah, catch you in the next part. All right, guys, so there we have it. We hit 58.80, that was our target. Got in up here at 58.08, uh, 28 ticks. We wrote it down here to 58.80, price is still moving a little bit lower, but um, that was our target, that was our goal. That is our trade for the day. We're now done for the day. Account is back up to $50,309. So uh, back in the green. Not the biggest trade, not the biggest day, but we came in, we saw our setup, we planned our risk management, we took a trade. I right, came down here, this was our settlement price. This was also you know, support and resistance level that I had eyed up for a potential move to the downside, and it has hit our target. Price could continue to sell off, could continue to move lower. However, we did what we needed. We came in, we took our 30 ticks. Now is when a lot of traders would continue trading and give back all their money. That is not what we are here to do. We are here to hit base hits all day long. Get on base, get on base, get on base. Um, if we hit this trading challenge, getting this count up to $53,000, um, that is when we start getting more positions on in these trades. That's when we start going for the home runs, hitting base hits along the way. Once we open multiple positions, things of that nature. So um, right now we're just grinding. We're just trying to get some consistency down, trying to learn these markets a bit, showing you guys as I do it and um, trying to grow the account. So this is Wednesday, getting out of the markets as far as oil goes, as we have a lot of uh, news events today, like I just told you guys. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, Thursday's trading video, and I'll catch you guys there. All right, guys, Thursday morning here, uh, March 21st. It is 7.04 a.m. I just got in my, my trade recently here um, about 30 minutes ago. I took a short, we were in this high base pattern right around $60 a barrel. We came and closed and broke and closed below $60 a barrel, below the bottom of this range, triggered me in short. I got in on a little bit of a pullback right after the candle, opened at $59.95. Same rules, same targets. We got in at 55, looking for a 30 tick move down here. I mean, sorry, we got in at 59.95. So I'm going for a 30 tick move down here to 59.65. We were able to put a little bit of a tighter stop than the normal 15 tick. 
I put the stop right above the high of this breaking out level, right? So if we pull back and retest this level, the, the trade should hold. If we pull all the way back up into the middle of this range and take out the highs of these candles, this, this setup's invalid, right? That's what we want our stop loss to do is to tell us when our trade's invalid. If price goes back up above this candlestick, above this pattern, it's invalid. So we got our targets down here. Looking for this 59.65. That'll be our 30 ticks. And now we just let it ride. So um, keep you guys updated throughout this trade. Right now, as the account stands from yesterday, we are at 50,407. So if this trade goes down, we'll be at about uh, 50,700 in the account again, 50,600 in the account again. So uh, we're getting back. Um, this is our short here, crude oil, Thursday morning. So I'll keep you guys posted as this trade develops and if we take any other trades here. All right, guys, I uh, wanted to recap this trade here on Thursday. Um, this is where we got in short, right up here. I had it marked for you guys short here. We are looking for a 59.65 take profit. Price moved lower. We actually got down here to 59.68 within three ticks of our stop. I did not close it in time. I was away from the computer for a minute. Didn't close it in time down here. If it comes within two, three ticks, um, usually I'll just pin it and I didn't price came back against me and I got in up here for a small loss basically break even lost a few ticks on it um, unfortunate would have been a good winner ended up being a small loser that's not a good feeling but that's that happens you know my target was set it just missed it and then went against me and unfortunately that's just the way it works this this breakout ended up being you know, staying range bound for the day. This was where we broke out and caught it short, but this is the inside day that we've had price traded within this range. So unfortunately, not the best price action. Uh, one small loss, not a big deal. We continue moving forward, but uh, you know, going into the journal with being a tick, a couple ticks away from take profit, turning against us, letting a winner turn into a loser. This is where I go back in journal see all the entries see all the targets and stop losses how close or how far they were from hitting or not hitting to figure out how i can tweak my strategy tweak my um plan to you know take profits off the table as, as i've been telling you guys it's, it's tough right now only being able to trade one lot at a time um with my risk management rules that i can't take partial profits i can't um let trades run and trail them i have to essentially have a set it and forget it type style i have to have one target one stop it hits it it doesn't um but as i develop into this oil trading and i get more position sizing on the table i will start experimenting with multiple lots to be able to take profits which this would have been a perfect example of a time where i most likely would have taken profits adjusted the risk off the table to break even and see if we could ride it lower um so this is going in the notes, going in the journal. This will be in the forward testing to start figuring out what the strategy can do to be done better. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'll keep you tuned with Friday's update. Alrighty, guys, Friday morning here, um, March 22nd. It is 6.18 a.m. Eastern time. We are in a short here on crude oil. Um, got up here a little bit later than I wanted to. This was the breakout that we got got in down here would have liked to have gotten in up here but all in all we're in we're in short at 90 59 55 looking to ride it down here to 59 25 take our 30 pips and be done for the day um we're up 16 right now so we're halfway there looking for price to just continue to the downside hit this 25 here and then just cash out um i'll be keeping an eye out for a pullback retest to short it again potentially but as of right now, um, that's all we're looking for. Just looking for a nice little move down here to 25. 10 more ticks lower. Should be easy to do. A um, little bit of structure on the day. Uh, yesterday was an inside day. We traded inside this range all day long, as you can see in this dark gray box. That shows the trading day yesterday. And it was a range bound day, as you guys saw with our setups. Um, the day before that we had a breakout to the downside and then it shot up the whole time We had a little bit of a breakout to the upside then it shot down 
and then we had a breakout to the upside and continued higher um, on Monday. Today looks like we're breaking to the downside and moving lower. Taking this out to a higher time frame on the daily, you can see prices continued setting highs, continued setting highs, and now we are um, selling off a little bit. We had a little spinning top candle yesterday in that inside bar day. So what we caught was this breakout below this range. If we put a big box around it, you guys can see this is where we are trading. We broke out to the downside and this is where we're shorting. So just trying to catch another little bit of this move to the downside, then I'll be done for the day. Um, unless the perfect retest setup according to my plan occurs, which is pretty rare, but if it does, we'll be in it. Um, but that's that, yeah. So this is the trade this morning, guys. I'll recap here in a little bit. Um, for the week, show you guys what's going on with the account and we'll get ready for next week. All right, you guys, so recapping this first trade here Friday morning, um, we got in short here, break and close, told you guys I would recap as it went on, and we bottomed out down here and got out at 59, 34, 35, got in at 55, so 20 tick gain right here, got out, covered our, long, our short with a long here, got out, took the um, 200 tick, $200, 20 ticks, and then price pullback and uh, I'll go over the next setup with you with the next short that we took. All right guys, so we're taking another swing at it here. Um, just took a short on the close of this candle. Like I said, on the 15 minute, we got a pullback rejection, shooting star candle, rejecting the zone. Looks like initially it's starting to move lower for us here. I'm gonna put my stop up above this reversal. We'll go up here, we got in at 51. I'll put it up here at about 64. So I'm gonna put a buy stop. 64 that's protecting us there we're going short our next immediate target is going to be uh at about 59.30 but i'm going to see if we can break that and head lower um on this candle here so here's our pullback retest going short now guys going to keep an eye on this um see if we have trouble breaking this prior pivot low if so we'll look to either get out again down here adjust to break even and let it ride um, but I'm gonna try to get my risk off the table pretty quickly with this one we're in the profit on the day I don't want to give it all back so I'm going to try to let this ride but I'm not going to um, I'm gonna be aggressive with moving my stop up to break even I'm gonna be aggressive with moving this up getting my risk off the table because I don't want to give back all my returns if this does go against us and this doesn't work out I will give back some of the returns we made and uh, might be closer to break even on the day. However, um, I think this is worth the shot. This fills my plan. It works to my setup. Um, the exact trigger triggered us in. So now we execute and we let our plan play out. All right, so I'll be looking for um, this 59.30 level down here to see how price reacts to it. And I'll keep you guys posted on the status. Alrighty guys, so Friday afternoon here, um, recapping these trades real quick. As you guys saw this morning setup, we just went over, we were in this base, we broke and closed below, got short in here, 59.55, wrote it down here to 59.35, uh, 20 tick gain right here, price then pulled back. As you guys can see, we came back up to retest 59.60 to 59.65, this was where we wanted to break and close below that got us short. Pull back, retested it through a hammer candle on the zone, got in short here, rode that short down to 59.25, so 59.52 to 59.25, about a 27 pip tick gain. Um, two winners on the day. It was a total of $450 or 45 ticks that we gained on this trade. Again, we got in short, the break and close below our base, got in back short again on the retest wrote it lower, took our profits quickly here, um, didn't like the bottoming out we were seeing here, and you know we hit a decent target, we hit 59.30, as I've been telling you guys, I'm going to adjust my strategy to try to trail some winners, because as you can see, if we would have trailed this winner, this could have been five times the size it was, so um, we're going to be adapting that into the strategy, again, I wanted to do this live with you guys, so you guys could see as this evolved, as my trading evolved in futures, a new market for me, we are still in the positive though. This brings our weekly count to 50,668. So we're back up to our high on the account. And that is where we stand. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's where we stand on the account right now. 
We are ending Friday with fifty thousand dollars, six hundred and sixty-eight in the bank. Um, positive week. We had an increase in the account balance this week. We were right around fifty thousand on the week, so we made uh, about seven hundred bucks this week trading crude oil. And we're going to go ahead and take this into next week. Continue to grow the account. See how the trading goes. See how it does. And I'll continue to update you guys all along the way throughout the process. All right, guys. Thank you. That wraps up Friday.